All right, and here is the video review for uh, day four of Poseidon Week, the leader, Iron Shell, a.k.a. Snap Trap. Uh, here he is in his pom-pom gun turtle mode. That's his official name. That's the It says it right there in the manual in uh, PIEs. But uh, yeah, he comes with his manual. There's his accessories. Um, I guess that's why you get the extra set. Anyway... <laughs> um, so yeah, we're not going to go through all that because it really only has robot mode, alt mode, and torso mode, and I am really looking forward to showing off the transformation of torso mode in the combined video because uh, it's awesome. Uh, he, he by himself is actually pretty cool, and I will de demonstrably prove that uh, by the end of this video. So yeah, he, co he comes with that. He comes with his bio card, which has his art and his stats. Put those over there. You also get two kind of weird Tonfa-esque sword type weapons that he can hold on to and use to attack that also become part of the main sword. The two couple of long pieces that can't come to hook together as one long piece, but apparently it's so you can, it's actually four separate pieces on like a Lego piece here of these things and then you get an extra set of these. So if you want to have two, I guess I guess if you want to make like a spear and a kind of swordy thing, you, you can have two handle weapons. Now, apparently the, the sword actually is supposed to be like a super long handle. I prefer to do it like this, which is like one short handle for the sword, but it's entirely up to you. But you, but you get some more pieces for their handles for the sword, and you also get his rifle, which we'll, we'll talk about the mysteries of this rifle here when we get to robot mode. So yeah, here he is. He's a he's a turtle. He's got a little Taka esque turtle face. Taka was the snapping turtle mutant from Secret of the Ooze. If you remember watching that movie as a kid, but it is a really cool sharp turtle face. He's got some stubby little legs. All of his stuff is robot mode feet back here. His spiky shell, and you can have it with his tail. You can have the these little fin pieces pull it back. You can fold them forward on the shelf. You want him to have more of a round shell. It's entirely up to you. Then you also have his guns, which do not actually pom-pom like the original toy did, but they do extend. And then there's also like a hinge there so they can angle out. You can shoot from different angles. Uh, that's mostly so they can angle up over his robot mode, sh mode shoulders when you get there. But you can have them extend and angle up if you want them to have more of an impressive gun presence, or you can leave them folded back like that. Now he does transform all in one piece. On the original toy, you remember this piece, the shell piece came off to become a shield um, and then also form the torso of the combiner. And that's not the case here. Everything is all incorporated, which again is really cool when it comes to go to torso mode. But we're just gonna go to robot mode right now. So to start that off, we'll go ahead and we'll lift this up and we'll start uh, untabbing the rear part of the shell here. And just lift that up on its hinge. Uh, it, it tabs in back here on the leg. These pegs go in, and then there's these little tabs right here go into slots on the shell. So lift that up. Go ahead and fold his tail in. If you can get it in there. Take these pieces, this robot mode feet, and fold them out and around. And once you've got that done, you can uh, bring the legs out to the side. You want to open these up right here. So you can, uh, you gotta get, rotate them in such a way there's a hinge here and a hinge inside the leg. So you wanna make sure to open those up enough that you can flip this around without getting caught on that. And that will extend his leg. And then same over here again, straighten it yeah, like that. Let's see if I can get a little bit more real estate on the figure here while we're shooting. So yeah, that's done. Go ahead and clip these rotate them around all the way down and around down like that and down and around like that rotate his lower waist bring this piece down this is going to be like his crotch plate for combiner mode but rotate leave the shell on the back rotate this piece all around fold this down and under the shell and you can see some pieces that are going to flip out for torso mode, which again is really cool. 
Actually, you can rotate the, if you want to get a little bit more clearance for his robot mode head, you can, you can rotate this to the side out of the way as well because the robot mode head and the combiner mode head are up inside this part. And that, this lets you get this way out of the way to fold this head down. Hold this head down and then pop this panel open here to allow his robot mode head to come out. Not a whole lot of clearance, so it, when you get this open wide, it helps. Bring that up, flip that up. There's his robot mode head. And when you bring this back up, bring this shell back around, uh, these large pink tabs go into the back. And it helps if you actually go ahead and pull the arms, uh, untab the arms from the side of the torso, and bring this piece down. It gives it a little bit more clearance here for the backpack. Again, untab the arm from the side of the torso, and then Bring that pink bit all the way forward because these two pink tabs go up into his back at this point and then uh, this folds down and there's a, some tabs here on the green shot you can see there's a tab up here as well as one down here and for torso mode you want them down here for robot mode you want them to tab in up higher up on the uh, on the shell like that so it sits up here so th this is actually raised up a little bit behind his robot mode head that's how you know you've done it right because in this mode, you need to bring the shell back around and then collapse the torso down like this. Come on. There we go. So collapse that down. And once you've done that, if you've got this in the right position, the, the, uh, this big shell can come up over it and it will also tab in to... Uh, you should, yeah, there we go. There's some, there's some slots in here. It's hard to see from this angle in the back shell that tab up over these green tabs on the back here and it will line up in a way that this tab up here will tab in on the back of this shell right here. Something isn't lined up properly because that should not be pulling this, this piece off. should go in easily and problematic problem free I don't know why this is oh you know what I do know what the problem is there's a couple little tabs down here that are here for uh, combined mode I'm gonna make sure those get flipped out as well these little pink tabs that that those were uh, blocking this hinge from coming up all the way once you get that done, then it all snaps into place very securely and doesn't pull away from the back. All right, so we're gonna stand him up here and we'll deal with his legs first because they're being problematic right now. So the feet, bring them down, lift them up and rotate them and then just bring that hinge in. You can point the toes forward if you like them like that. You can leave them wide like that. It's up to you. I go, I go somewhere in the middle usually. Yeah, so bring his feet down and around. Snap these panels back into place. And then his turtle legs kind of come back around behind here and kind of fold up to form extra heel pieces because his legs, these sit a little too far forward to really support him. Folding these turtle legs down as extra heels helps. And I just fold the actual feet kind of up like that. And one of the things that is pictured but isn't actually shown how to do in the instructions. I figured this out, at least I didn't notice them in the instructions. These clear green pieces actually come out and up and tab back in. You can see the two sides uh, to kind of cover up the combiner ports there in his knees as well as give him some kind of cool knee kneecap detailing there. Up to his upper half, we're just about done here. Uh, bring this down. You kind of want to, you see this, it slides here on this connector point. So slide that all the way up. And then there's a little triangle tab in here that goes into his turtle mode chin. So make sure that sits all the way in. You should just see the top, his lower jaw should pretty much be inside of his torso at this point. And then once that's done, rotate the arms around at the bicep swivel. 
These panels are on kind of little rocking pivot joints so you can get, push the fist out. And gives it just enough clearance to push out. And then these pieces, again, kind of fold up and collapse into the arm with the paw hanging off the back. And that also, not only does that fill in the forearm, but it also kind of keeps the, the fist from sliding back and rotating back into the arm. Just like that, just push it all the way up and in there. And there he is in robot mode. He's got a ball jointed head. There's teal with some nice light piping in it. Uh, ratcheting shoulders. Again, you can see the combiner ports up here in his shoulders. A bicep swivel. He does have a kind of just a friction hinge here at the elbow, as well as a that clicky transformation hinge there at the uh, upper elbow. Now, that one looks a little awkward if you use it. I, I generally just tend to stick with this lower one, although it can droop a little bit at this joint if with his rifle in his hand because it's a big rifle. He's got the waist swivel, the dual rationing hips, and here's what I'm talking about because you want to bring it. You see how the two hips are different here. You bring it out like this for combiner mode, and want, you want it straight down at this circle joint uh, for robot mode. Or you can put it somewhere in between if you want a wider stance. Ratcheting thigh swivel, although again, that's mostly for combiner mode. Ratcheting knees and then some pretty sturdy ball joint feet, as well as the posable toes. The cannons, like you, again, you can leave these up or down. Personally, my personal preference is to have those folded down. But uh, again, it's entirely up to you. And as I mentioned, the cannons here can extend up if you just want them to be taller. And they can also, there's a little cutout here in the shell. So if you pull them up all the way, you can actually have them fold down over his shoulders as well, which is actually a pretty cool look. Again, he's got his little kind of tonfa sword weapons. Like, they really don't work in any position other than kind of underarm as tonfas because the... Uh, the way this handle is connected, I mean, I guess you could have them like that, but it looks a little silly. Um, but if you put it under here, although then you got to get it all the way up. Well, maybe not. I don't know. You got to get it up high enough to actually be held by the hand. Um, so yeah, you can kind of have a hold them like that. Up to you. Personally, I, those will probably just get used for the sword. Now the gun. You unclip it from here, because in order to get it in his hand, this is the only problematic bit with the gun, really, is that you tap it into his hand from the top, and you have to leave his fingers open a little bit to give this the clearance to get up close to it, but you can't have them all the way closed, or it won't get in. But if you have them all the way open, it'll block it, and it'll kind of, as you snap this into place, it will kind of automatically close the fingers, and you can finish that. But uh, that's how he holds his rifle. And his rifle... Is the same teal and pink. It would have been nice if it were black like his guns. Uh, just a slightly different color, especially since it doesn't really connect to his alt mode. Uh, there is a picture apparently somewhere of it sitting on his shell, and uh, I was talking to Evangelist, and he believes that it was probably in fact taped there. But uh, I haven't seen this picture, so I can't confirm, but I have not found a place to store it. Also, like this little tab... Like, I worry about the way you have to snap it past there to lock into place. I worry about that eventually snapping. I mean, granted, if it, if it did, it really wouldn't hurt anything, I don't think, because once you have that closed up, he's going to hold it in his hand just fine, but just a thing. But what's weird about this is, one, the fact that this even folds up is a little odd. Why not just have this come down and make a longer handle here? And you'll see, like, there's a couple of peg holes and a tab and a couple of little tabs up here. Uh, that make it look like maybe they're supposed to combine all the guns in a port here on the back. And I'm not entirely sure why that exists. There's like this weird shape right here. And somebody said they found a way to combine them all using one of the gun ports. And maybe they did right here. But uh, I haven't figured it out yet. It looks like they should combine, but there's no instructions on how to do that. And the biggest mystery is not even just this handle. I get that. Um, this pink part right here, you can see there's a slot here. This is clearly how it's intended to be for just the singular rifle. But you can flip this up, at which point now there's a peg, a hidden peg hole under here. That nowhere in the instructions does it tell you what all that's for, but I'm pretty sure these are intended to, in some way, combine to form a combined rifle. 
with all the weapons for maybe for his, for his combined mode. But uh, yeah, who knows? Now, I mentioned that uh, by the end of this video, I would try to demonstrably illustrate how cool this guy is. One, if this ain't doing it for you. Fair enough, I get it. Um, I've always kind of dug Snap Trap. He was one of the few uh, that I specifically remember having as a kid and playing with a lot. I remember I got him for my birthday. Uh, I remember the house I lived in in Nebraska, everything. Like, I, I remember him dearly as a kid. So, so I've always enjoyed him. This figure is really great. I love the design of it. I love how it transforms. Like I said, I'm really looking forward to the full combiner on Saturday with the torso mode because it's fantastic. But uh, one of the things, that my, my one real issue with him is that they went with the, the, the teal head that, uh, again, they, they, that they, didn't, they, they also had that unpainted teal head on the reissue that came out a few years back. And uh, it's not horrible, but from a distance especially, it really, with the backpack sticking up that little bit here in robot mode, it really kind of blends in and disappears. Which is why uh, I painted it on my other one. And that's the point that I really <laughs> need to drive home. I found a good deal on Amazon where there was like a super discount uh, the other day and picked it up. But uh, if that doesn't tell you how much I'm enjoying this figure, I don't know what is. Because I literally went and bought, after finally getting this whole team together here, I went and bought a second one of this guy. So when I have them all combined... I can still have an iron shell to play with. <laughs> Which I know is a little frivolous, but one, it was a pretty good deal on Amazon, and I shared it on Twitter, and I don't think several other people picked theirs up as well. Uh, so I'm waiting to hear some of their reactions. But uh, but I just think he looks so much better. Now, originally, his the original toy just had a solid black head with the yellow eyes. And um, I considered that. I actually did have this all painted, but there is, I think it's tktf tk tf.com. I was looking at their galleries and they actually put the gray mouth plate on him. And I just think that looks much nicer than just solid black. If you want to just paint it solid black, that's fine. If you want to just leave it teal, that's totally fine too. But um, personally, I just feel like having that black and gray head, because like I wasn't sure about the face plate either, because I, I generally don't like to use metallic paints or like I'm just maybe I'm just not good at them like I've, I've never really been happy with how metallic paints have come out when I've used them but while I was at the shop looking for uh picking up the paint for the, the black for his head that I knew I was going to use as well as the blue for the Optimus the uh uh Power of the Primes Optimus Prime if you saw on Twitter I painted his fist blue um I found Light sea gray. I don't know if you can see that here. And considering what I was intending to use it for, I felt that light sea gray... Uh, first of all, these are the paints I use at Tester's Model Master. I, I tend to like them because they, even if I leave a few brush strokes that I don't quite get out, it tends to dry flat. Like, I've been really happy with both the adherence, the durability and the finish of these when I'm done. Um, if you remember a while back when I did the uh, the the Toxin Custom from TFCon, like I, I painted that entirely with these Model Master paints. I'm pretty happy with them. But when I saw Light Sea Gray, I'm like, okay, that's what color his faceplate is going to be. And it actually ended up working out really nicely. So yeah, there is Iron Shell. He's a great... Uh, he's the great leader figure. He's a great uh, little toy. Like I said, even by, even if you don't get the whole team, I would highly recommend Iron Shell by himself. I really, really dig him. As evidenced by the fact that I have two of them. But of course, since we are on day four, and we have done so for all the others, let's bring in uh, all of his previous teammates. We got, we got Big Bite here. We'll bring in... Uh, Cyberjaw, and Menta Razor. We're going to run out of room here real quick. And just give you a look at the team coming together. And just for giggles, they're, 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 they are together. Um, if you want to see what they whole look like with the painted head. Because he's here and why not? Um, personally, I like the painted head, especially in the group dynamic. But there they are. All. There's all four of them so far. Uh, day four. 
And I will see you on Thursday tomorrow for uh, day five with Deathclaw.